Let's talk about the game that just finished right here. Jimmy, I'll start with you. Obviously, Kansas City, the last undefeated team because Minnesota fought to the finish, but they go down to Detroit. Kurt, you know, watching the Detroit Lions, I mean, I love watching this team play. And obviously, the players are the ones that win the game. But I've got to give credit to Dan Campbell. He built this team. They have such great chemistry. They're such an outstanding total team, defense, offense, special teams. Of course, Jared Goff is just playing fantastic, completing over 80% of his passes the last three weeks. Uh, like I said, they've got great players, but I give so much credit to Dan Campbell building this football team. You build a team, you build the mentality, and you put stars out there who actually perform in big games, and that's what they got. Jared Goff, uh, J Jameer Gibbs, 116 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Amon Ross St. Brown, 112 yards receiving, a touchdown. Defense. Four sacks, and we're wondering how they're going to behave without, how they're going to act without Aiden Hutchinson. And you see, they stepped up to the plate today with needed. I think with him, you may have six or seven sacks, but who knows? But this team definitely came out, responded in a tough <coughs> environment in Minnesota to go on the road undefeated, be up, go down, and come back says a lot about this Detroit team. Yeah, it's two weeks in a row on the road. You know, it was a lot made about the the matchup of. of you know, Flores versus the Lions and Johnson, and it's it, it kind of lived up to it. Minnesota jumped out early. Uh, I think Detroit showed great poise. This wasn't Dallas. This wasn't a blowout. Mm -hmm. it, to me, it was it was about that last drive, and for them to make for Goff to make that throw in that final drive, Jim, yeah. we talked about it. They put a lot of trust in Jared Goff, and and, and the protection was not necessarily great, and not versus blitzes versus four man front. So they've got some issues there, and they've got some issues with their pass rush, but they brought pressure at the end of the game, and it, and it made up for it. And Jared Goff survived it moments ago. He just spoke with our Pam Oliver after the win. All righty, Jared, to be part of something like that, that game was a wow. Yeah. What's it like to be on the joyous end of that? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we, we knew coming in here it's a good team, and we had our hands full, and, but so did they. We, we've got a good team, too, and uh, winning these close ones on the road are huge. Tell me about just your procedure out here today. The first half, impeccable. Second half, you had to work a little bit harder. How did they adjust, and how did you subsequently adjust? Yeah, I, I think they've got a really good coach team. I think Coach Flores is one of the best to do it on defense in our league, and they adjusted well, and, and we adjusted back. So, yeah, it was a, it was a little uh, chess game there going on, and it's a lot of fun, but uh, they're a good team. We know about all of the adversity this team goes through, the latest with Aiden, but you guys really rose to the occasion. How proud does that make you? Yeah, a ton. I, it really does, especially on that defensive side. To see guys step up right there at the end, finish with a sack, it's, it, it really is big. We, we will miss Aiden, but uh, guys are stepping up. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. You know, you look at a coach and you look at the quarterback and their relationship, and when you have a coach like Campbell and you have a quarterback like Goff, the first thing I think about, the first thing that came to my mind, actually, when they got the ball back to go down and get kick the winning field goal was that, God, this guy reminds me, a little bit of our guy Tom Brady. You just know, you said it. Someone here said, you know, lines are going to go down. Goff's going to take them right down. They're going to score. And I remember standing on the sidelines down in, in Houston when uh, yeah. Tom let them down and how he was a mess. I said, never <laughs> worry. This ball's in the best hands it could possibly be in. And Tom Brady, when you can trust a quarterback who has consistently brought your team from behind or in the fourth quarter especially, <clears throat> man, that's, that's rarefied air right there.